Is Caspa Currency the New Bitcoin? A Comprehensive Introduction to the First Block DAG Network The vision behind Caspa is to build a system that surpasses the limits of Satoshi's protocol, the Nakamoto Consensus, yet adheres to the same principles embedded in Bitcoin. Caspa is a Layer 1 blockchain that's also referred to as the first block DAG. A block DAG resembles a directed acyclic graph, DAG, a mathematical structure where vertices represent blocks and edges reference child and parent blocks. Whereas traditional blockchains appear as a simple linear structure, block DAGs resemble a complex interconnected web. This originates from Caspa Ghost DAG Protocol, GD a proof-of-work POW-based protocol for a permissionless ledger that generalizes Nakamoto's consensus to a direct acyclic graph of blocks, block DAG. This consensus protocol has been invented as an improvement of the original Nakamoto consensus used in Bitcoin. It places a large emphasis on the longest chain, arguing that it is the most legitimate chain due to the largest amount of computational resources dedicated to it. By introducing elements typical of DAG, Caspa solves some of the previous scalability issues of the Nakamoto consensus and enables parallel block execution and transaction finality. In fact, GD is commonly defined as the fastest blockchain trilemma-solving POW, able to achieve high TPS throughput without sacrificing decentralization and having instant transaction confirmations determined by network latency, and not the protocol. What are the issues with Bitcoin? Bitcoin is slow by design. No matter how secure and how much hash rate secure the network, transaction throughput is decoupled from the computational power. As a consequence, the network faced a scaling problem. By either increasing the block rate or block size, it will inevitably increase the rate of orphan blocks and decrease the growth rate and security of the network. What are orphan blocks? Two honest miners will create blocks at approximately the same time, and these blocks will compete with one another until one of them is discarded and not accepted by the blockchain. That's what happened with Bitcoin Cash, which chose bigger blocks and sacrificed security for speed. Increasing the block size also requires increasing hardware requirements by miners and full node providers, further impacting decentralization and security. The main security feature of a POW system is that, the delay between blocks is larger by orders of magnitude than the time it takes the entire network to learn of a new block. As such, parallel blocks are orphaned, and they decrease the growth rate of the honest chain. The main purpose behind Caspa GD is to overcome the throughput security trade-off to allow parallel blocks and order them in a DAG, not a blockchain, thus ensuring there will be no orphan blocks. How does Caspa work? Caspa does not have the linear structure of typical blockchains. It allows parallel block execution and stores blocks in a DAG. Conflicts between blocks are solved by provably secure ordering rules. Each block references multiple predecessors, thus solving the high orphan problem. In fact, honest blocks would be very well connected to each other, but not to adversarial blocks. To have a better understanding of this model, you can refer to the Caspa Block Explorer visualization. The main idea behind a POW-based DAG is to replace the way mining works in the Nakamoto consensus, where miners propagate and extend the winning chain only, with Caspa's model where each new block points at all recent blocks in the history rather than to the winning one. As long as the attacker controls less than 50% of the computational power, the honest network will be highly connected and include most blocks in the network. A Community-Driven Project Caspa was launched with no allocations or pre-mine. The project is led by a community of developers and researchers from a team of ex dag Labs researchers and developers involved in DAG architecture. The Ghost Protocol from 2013, an invention of the Caspa Core contributor team, was even mentioned by Vitalik Buterin in the original Ethereum white paper. In order to clarify the different levels of development of Caspa, Phantom is the theoretical groundwork of the Caspa team. GD is the practical approximation and realization of Phantom, allowing Caspa to transact one block per second and up to 300 TPS. Dagnite, DK, will better utilize GD attributes to increase security standards. While GD assumes an upper bound on the network latency, DK does not. For now, the main purpose of Caspa is to focus on improving its GD protocol. Caspa launched with zero allocations or pre-mine, 
with the key vision of being a decentralized, pure, and open initiative. Just like Bitcoin, Caspa has neither a team nor a roadmap and relies on improvement proposals to ship upgrades. They even have a halving schedule to reduce emissions. Caspa sticks to the POW model, including POW block creation, transaction fees, involvement of miners, roles of full nodes, and the use of the UTXO model and deflationary block rewards. Nonetheless, it replaces the longest chain rule with a rapid consensus about the precedence of parallel blocks and the validity of transactions. The Big Rewriting, 15th of April, 2023. Caspa is currently undergoing a code rewrite in Rust. This will enable record efficiency and industry-leading performance, documented modularized code for future developers, and the groundwork for smart contracts. Main issues with Bitcoin, scalability during demand peaks, not enough BPS and TPS, slow blockchain confirmation, rising hardware requirements. Caspa TLDR. Caspa was developed to solve the blockchain trilemma. Traditional crypto must limit their BPS to limit orphan blocks. Caspa leverages a block DAG architecture to allow fast, scalable, and secure transactions without sacrificing decentralization. Caspa's GD, POW Consensus Protocol, incorporates orphan blocks into the chain to form a block DAG and then uses a novel, greedy algorithm to order the blocks such that well connected, honest blocks are favored quickly and with high probability. It allows Caspa to circumvent the traditional trade off of blockchains, improving the block rate by orders of magnitude while maintaining the theoretical security guarantees of Bitcoin. Food for thought. This is a gigabrain project. How did I miss it? The Caspa team is comprised of the most knowledgeable persons in terms of DAG architecture and blockchain research. Their theoretical and practical development is evident in their studies since 2016. Caspa provides an alternative to the classic POW POS duality in their exercise of solving the scalability issues of the Bitcoin Nakamoto consensus. The next phase will launch after Caspa's code rewrite and once they introduce their DK architecture to replace GD. With so many projects who lack the academic background, research, and some basic reasoning without the reasons they do stuff, it's been very refreshing to read about Caspa. Yes, POW networks may be considered energetically inferior to their counterparties, but they still have the strongest security model. Caspa tries to solve the scalability issues of Bitcoin with regard to orphan blocks by a new architecture. At the same time, we have already seen many others trying a completely new DAG model such as IOTA, with relatively low success. What's interesting about Caspa is that it leverages the model and architecture of Bitcoin while improving its scalability. What do you guys think of Caspa?